Hello everyone. With COVID-19 continuing to be a pandemic worldwide, there is lot of discussion going on everywhere. We made this video in response to requests for clarifying queries on planning of pregnancy during this phase. Myzel Dr. Neeti Mala Mekala. So the basic question is how does covid-19 has reached to a level of global pandemic this disease starts from a source within a specific population or it may enter from a different population then starts spreading through local transmission considered as stage 2 stage 3 being the community transmission where there is no clear source of origin of infection in a new community and finally becoming a local epidemic which can outburst to a global pandemic india is dealing with stage 2 appreciable efforts of government of india in tackling covid-19 has been protecting our country from going to stage 3 of outbreak how long can we sustain this control fingers crossed as majority of them remain asymptomatic it is becoming invisible part of life and we may need to adapt ourselves to live with that invisible enemy by ensuring social distancing which is single most effective intervention at population level and by taking self care we gathered evidence based information for some frequently asked questions like can we plan pregnancy now is it safe to conceive during this period what are the associated risk should i get an abortion should we delay becoming pregnant during this phase available data says that pregnant women do not appear more likely to contract the infection than the general population majority of them remain asymptomatic which is characteristic of the disease if you acquire infection what can be the probable risk pregnancy itself can alter the body's immune system and its response to viral infection which can be sometimes related to more severe symptoms and this can be the same for covid-19 individual response to viral infections are different for different pregnant women and depends on their associated comorbidities pregnancy is also a hypercoagulable state that means the blood consists of increased number of blood thickening agents which further increases its tendency to clot emerging evidence suggests that individuals admitted to hospital with covid-19 are also hypercoagulable indicating that infection with covid-19 is likely to be associated with increased risk of maternal venous thromboembolism risk of preterm birth have been reported but the definite cause in those cases was unclear pregnant women with comorbidities like heart disease diabetes hypertension obesity those with immunocompromised states and respiratory problems and elderly pregnant women are at an increased risk of acquiring this infection currently there is no evidence to suggest that covid-19 causes problems with baby development in utero or causes miscarriages With regard to transmission of this virus from woman to baby during pregnancy or delivery emerging evidence now suggests that vertical transmission is probable it is unknown whether these babies got the virus before or after their birth however the proportion of pregnancies affected by vertical transmission and its significance to neonates is yet to be determined remember after birth a newborn can get the virus if they are exposed to it There is still not much scientific research available on COVID-19 says Center for Disease Control and Prevention. So, if you and your partner are considering trying to conceive during this phase, factors to think about are limited access to healthcare facilities if pandemic continues, economic and social concerns because it is a time where the economy and people's livelihoods are struggling. the need for social distancing and self isolation may interfere with the ability of family and friends to help a pregnant person or couple prepare for or celebrate the milestone in their lives this may attribute to further stress experienced during the pregnancy on the top of the anxiety already experienced in response to pandemic though the available data to read offers no evidence of harm it is not possible to give absolute reassurance to any pregnant woman that 
contracting covid-19 carries no risk to her baby and no risk to her over and above that experienced by a non-pregnant healthy individual opinions may change with progression of stages of pandemic across the country and as more information is obtained about the disease for couples facing fertility issues the choice is exponentially more complicated fertility treatments are currently off the table the purpose of differing clinic visits is to reduce traffic to the hospitals clinics and to enhance social distancing and also to preserve healthcare resources for many critical cases should everyone stop trying to conceive altogether certain fertility societies related to assisted reproduction have guidelines discouraging couples from beginning fertility treatments during this time no organization has yet suggested couples should stop trying to conceive naturally for many whose plans to conceive whether naturally or via fertility treatments have been postponed by this pandemic a big question is will this delay affect my chances of getting pregnant the answer is probably no experts are in the opinion that there is no evidence that a brief delay 1 to 3 months for example has an impact on success rates so don't let that fear to be a factor in your decision to wait or not in the light of limited evidence planning a new life when human lives are under serious threat from a known invisible particle honestly it's a very personal decision researchers are still learning how covid-19 affects pregnancy outcomes It's better for the couple to consider their own medical histories, mental health, finances and stage of transmission of pandemic before deciding whether or not to proceed. But if you are already pregnant, continue it with extra care and precautions. It is not an indication for medical termination of pregnancy. Don't panic. Be alert and stay safe.